Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be transferring videos and pictures onto your Mac. So let's get started. So first of all, what you have to look for is your Photos app. So that's down here below. Now, if you don't see it right here on your navigation, then on the top right hand side of your screen, you're going to see this. This is your spotlight search and just type in photos. Once you open up photos on the left hand side, you will see devices. So at this point in time, your device should be plugged in. So whether it's an iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, just plug it in to your Mac and then you should see the name of it. Now, if it's not unlocked, then just unlock it right now. That just means to turn on the actual screen. So if you have Face ID, for example, you have to be able to see the apps. So just scroll up. And once you scroll up, everything should be loading in slowly. So if you have a ton of stuff, it's just going to take longer. So right now I can just select whatever I would like to import. Now, let's say you would like to import everything on the top right hand side of your screen. You're going to see import all items. So that means all pictures plus videos. And if you would like them to be deleted right after you transfer them to your Mac, you can just put a check mark right here, which is something I always do. So delete items after import because I don't want them on my phone taking up space anymore. Now, there's another way to select everything. It's just by pressing Command A. So I can just click anywhere here inside here, press Command A. It's going to select everything and then can just import. And then on the top, I'm going to see import 374 items. That's because that's what I have. So I can just import everything. Now, if I want to go back on that, I can just click away, just click anywhere really. Now, if it's just one video or picture that I want to import, well, just click on that one video like you just saw me do. So I just clicked on this video, puts a check mark on it. And then just go on the top and just put import one item. Now, let's say you would like to import several things, but skipping one or the other. Well, I can just click, for example, right here. I can press shift and then just press down here. That's going to select everything from on top of here until it reaches this way. So it's going to reach up to here and that's it. I can just import all of those. Now I'm going to click away just to show you another example. I, if I want to just import this one and I can skip over all the way here, just press command. So hold command and just press on this second one. Now let's say I want to import this one as well. Command and then click, command, click and command, click. Now this one right here is a picture and all of these other ones are videos. I can also click on this one. And then I can just go on and import just those ones that I selected. Again, I'm pressing command on my keyboard and then I'm clicking away. For now, I'm just going to click away. It can actually mix everything that I just showed you. So for example, I can just click on this one. Then I can press shift on my keyboard. Click here. So it selects all of these. And then if I want to add something onto this, I can just press command and add this video and this video down here. So we can mix up these techniques in order to select pictures and videos in order to import them. Now, as mentioned, once you selected everything you would like to import to your computer on the top, you will see import selected. That's exactly what I'm going to press. And I'm going to keep this delete items. It's just going to delete them from my iPhone, iPad or iPod touch, whatever you guys are using right now. So we're going to just import. And once you import, you will see nothing unless you don't have that much. So right now I'm importing quite a bit and that's why it's going to take quite a while for this to import here. So as soon as they start coming in, I should see them popping up. So right now I can see some stuff starting to pop up in here. And at the same time, I want to show you this. I'm going to zoom in all the way up here. You guys see this? This will let you know if things are actually happening. So for a few seconds, you don't see anything happening. That's okay. But this will go all the way when it's done. So right now we just have to wait more and more videos and pictures will be popping up. And yes, the longer the videos are, the longer they will take to import one at a time. Something that you will also notice is that it also depends on the quality of the video. So if you took 4K videos, those will take longer than 1080p videos. And if you're importing pictures, well, those are the fastest ones because they're really small. I would also like to highlight that you could import and transfer stuff between your Mac and your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch just using AirDrop. So you can transfer those things. I would only transfer if you're transferring just one picture or maybe two videos or three videos, then it's okay to do the AirDrop thing, which I do have a separate video showing you how to do that. But again, I would only use that if there's small videos or if it's just one video or two videos. If it's a bunch of stuff like you see right here, then definitely 
hook it up to your Mac using a USB cable. Anyways, as far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.